Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is RT, Russia Today. And this is an interesting one about the man of peace. And many believe this particular person could be the Antichrist. I suspect that the Antichrist is living among us now. He is probably a, co a politician at this point. He may or may not be uh, liked, but he is moving up in the ranks. We don't know who exactly he is. Uh, because he will be a leader that um, kind of comes out of nowhere. And at some point is possessed by uh, Satan and uh, and brings peace on the world stage, is elected to the world stage and to the world government and becomes the leader of the world. And he brings peace and he feeds those and he resolves the issue of famine in the world. Um, <clears throat> and he, need, he leads the world in a new world currency. So who is that person? We don't know yet. Um, he will be revealed at a point in time, and I believe he's revealed at the midpoint of the seven-year period where he sits on the throne in the third temple and shows his true colors. But this guy is interesting. And again, um, some people do believe that um, uh, Erdogan is um, a stand-in. Uh, some people believe he is the Antichrist. And what's happening right now? Well, he's being praised for his work towards peace in Ukraine. <clears throat> Turkish peace efforts in Ukraine deserve Nobel Prize. A Hungarian foreign minister, Peter Sajarto, has declared that, that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan should be considered for a Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to broker an end to the hostilities in Ukraine. But what is he doing in uh, along with bringing peace to Ukraine and Russia, or at least trying to broker it? Well, he, Erdogan, uh, Sajerto praised Erdogan's role in negotiating the Black Sea grain deal and his hosting of ultimately fruitless peace talks between Moscow and Kiev last year. So, along with peace uh, in the area there, Ukraine, Russia, he also helped negotiate the Black Sea grain deal, which helps world famine, world hunger. Of course, Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of the world. We have skyrocketing grain prices because Ukraine can't get its harvest out to the markets. <clears throat> and what did uh, and this guy do? Well, he helped broker a grain deal um, to get those ships out. So interesting. He, he fulfills some of the aspects, at least in terms of what he ultimately, what the Antichrist ultimately does and resolves in the world. When the Antichrist comes, he will... Bring peace to the world, to, to a world that is war, at war rather. He will feed the hungry during a time of famine, I believe, and great economic collapse. And so he will bring food to the world in some manner. And thirdly, he will bring in a new economic system, a new ec uh, economy when the economy crashes. Remember, this whole U war in Ukraine and Russia is an existential war for both sides. If Russia loses, they will be humiliated. They will be wiped out. They are uh, no longer friends of most of the uh, Western world, and, and so they're lose a lot of market share. If NATO loses, the U.S. likely is to lose its world reserve currency status, which Russia would like to remove. Russia wants to go to a gold-backed currency system. The U.S. doesn't like that, so U.S. is battling against them in the form of NATO, um, to destroy them, basically. It's existential for NATO and, and the U.S. specifically as the world reserve currency holder, the U.S. greenback. So this particular guy is interesting in that he is um, bringing to the table a lot of what the Bible says the Antichrist will do in the last days. <clears throat> the only su successful mediation attempt has been given um, ha that has given any hope of peace is that of Turkey. Uh, President Erdogan and Minister Kavosoglu, personally, which led to the Black Sea Grain Initiative, he continued, thanks to uh, Turkey's efforts, we can move closer to the hope of peace. Again, does the Bible have a lot to say about Turkey in the last days? Absolutely. Turkey seems to be one of the uh, alliance uh, between Russia and Iran that marched on Israel in the last days, Ezekiel 38 and 39. Uh, so Turkey and its leadership and its place in history seems to be very loud and uh, represented in end time Bible prophecy. Is this the Antichrist? I don't know. Is it, is he doing what the Antichrist ultimately will fulfill? Absolutely. 
Um, so, uh, it, it, you know, if he tries again, is he going to uh, resolve it? And will he be the Antichrist? Well, he's been around for a while. He doesn't come out of nowhere, but he certainly is uh, going down that track. So just another person to watch. Um, and uh, I'll leave it there. You guys can think about it. Let me know in the comments what you think.